Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today we're going to be looking at Blender free add-ons versus paid add-ons. Today Blender add-ons are essential for any Blender artist if they want to take full advantage of Blender. Though most of the add-ons available are paid add-ons, there are also great and comparable free alternatives you can use. Unfortunately, most of you do not know about them. So this video is going to be a Blender free add-ons versus Blender paid add-ons. Number one. FSpy versus Perspective Plotter. FSpy is a free standalone application for matching the camera angle and settings of any camera used to shoot any reference image you have and align it with, with your digital camera. It is used by a lot of architectures to construct interiors or exteriors of buildings in 3D applications like Blender. It used to be a Blender add-on and now it's a standalone open source application with its own interface and to use it in Blender now you have to install the FSpy importer that will import the results from the standalone application into Blender. I believe it's these added steps that inspired the creator of Perspective Plotter to make an alternative to Spy that is a single step Blender installation so you can do everything that Fspy does and more all inside Blender. Perspective Plotter has been around for a while and over 5,000 of you have installed it. Number two, HDRI Maker versus Leo Moon Light Studio. Lighting can be one of the hardest things to get right in Blender, but since the introduction of HDRI lighting in Blender, lighting has gotten easier and more accurate. But the problem with HDRIs is that the lighting is back into the HDRI image. So to change the lighting, you either have to rotate the HDRI or get a different HDRI image, making it the least flexible way of lighting. But thanks to free and paid add-ons like Leo Moon Light Studio and HDRI Maker, you can get the quality of HDRIs and flexibility back with these two add-ons. The main difference being Leo Moon Light Studio is geared more to product visualization since it creates more focused lighting and reflections and is free. On the other hand, HDRI Maker is not just for lighting your scenes, but you can make the HDRI part of your scene using its robust tools shipped with the add-on. Number 3. Auto Rig Pro vs Blend Rig This is the battle of the giants. Auto Rig Pro as a paid add-on has been on the front page of the Blender market since its launch as a testament to its popularity, while Blender Rig is a free rigging add-on used by a lot of professionals and has been a favorite for artists at the Blender Studio, using it for many Blender open movies for rigging and character animating. Both these add-ons have unique features and have been artists' favorites for a long time. Number 4. Botanic vs Tree Eat One of the first add-ons I've ever got was Botanic and it's a paid add-on for creating landscapes with trees, grass and all sorts of vegetation. It's also one of the most updated add-ons on the market. Its developers are always adding more content and functionality nearly every few months. Unfortunately, I could not find a Blender free alternative add-on or library like this as trees are harder to make but what i found was a free standalone application for plant grass and uh, vegetation generation called tree eat it's not a blender add-on so you will have to work outside blender to create your trees but it generates very high quality trees and vegetation that you can easily import to blender and additionally you can create as many variations as you want and just use the blender asset browser to save them inside there and whenever you want to use them you can just pull them as you want number five bond dynamics versus wiggle bonds this is for the men and women of culture bond dynamics and wiggle bonds are what you need to make things look dynamic there are things that are harder to animate with hands but can also get hard if animated with hands if you know what i'm talking about wiggle bonds and bond dynamics add secondary motion to your character rigs like tail animation hair animation and can also help with cloth animation if you don't want to do cloth simulations they also support object collisions and more Number 6. Cell Fracture vs RBD Lab Cell Fracture used to be a hidden gem in Blender. When you needed to destroy objects, it was the dominant recommendation of a lot of Blender artists and Reddit posts. But it has seen little to no improvements since Blender 2.8, so a lot of VFX artists have moved on to paid add-ons like RBD Lab. That brings more modern features like activators, partial fracturing, more fracture detail and more. 
basically a whole pipeline that was restricted to applications like Houdini is now in Blender thanks to the RBD Lab add-on. The advantage Cell Fracture has over RBD Lab is that it comes shipped with Blender and can still do simple fracturing effects if you add some physics simulations to it. But if you want to make serious VFX, you will have to invest into something like RBD Lab. Number six, Geo Cables versus Cable Generator. If you're making anything that is post-historic or after industrialization, you are going to need a decent way to make cables. It's hard to imagine any modern environment without any wires or cables hanging somewhere. Of course, you can do it like a caveman and model them yourself, which is great if you are still learning but quite time consuming. The alternative is using cable generators like Geo Cables or Cable These two are great add-ons that do the same thing, though Geo Cable is free to download. Cable Generator seems to have a bit more options for the type of cables you can generate with it. So if you are going for that extra detail, look into it. Number seven, rig a car versus RBC add-on. There are not a lot of free options for rigging cars except finding models that are already rigged. But when it comes to rigging something custom and usable, the free option I could find was rig a car. It provides a robust rig for most car animations. So if you are looking for something basic, or are willing to put in the extra time in the animation part, rig a car is a great free option. On the other hand, RBC is a car rigging add-on that is basically plug and play. It's also physics based, so you don't have to worry about car tires or the car body going through walls or the floor, as it supports collisions and basically a physics simulation in itself. It also comes with a library of ready to animate cars you can use and advanced drivers for setting the speed of the car and auto steering of the car. It has even more features like creating an automatic car chase where you only have to control the main car and then you have other cars that are controlled by the add-on to save you a lot of animating. Number eight, the plant library versus GeoScatter. Plant generators are hard to find, even paid ones. What is popular though is plant libraries like this free plant library. It's a collection of trees, plants, and vegetations, plus some extra things like dead trees, leaves, and rocks. This free library is enough for most hobby users, but for more professional users, the paid add-on GeoScatter is light years ahead. It's also made by the same developers of the free plant library, so you can use the plant library as a test to see how you like their content. Furthermore, the plant library can also work with GeoScatter, as GeoScatter is not just a library, but a scattering add-on for making realistic ecosystems or environments. Number nine, Julio Sirent material pack versus extreme PBR Nexus. There are an infinite number of materials in the world, so you will never create all the materials you need in Blender. And why bother if there are people already doing that for you? One such person is Julio Silet, who dedicates a lot of time creating PBR materials for his followers on Gumroad. Most of these are free and easy to use in Blender. The only problem is since he releases these material packs on a weekly or monthly basis, as a set of five to 10 packs, importing them is going to require some work. An alternative but paid option is using an add-on like Extreme PBR Material that comes with over 1,800 PBR materials and an add-on to manage the importing, mixing, and adding effects to the materials. Number 10, we have Human Generator versus Human Maker. This list would not be complete without an easy way to create characters. We all get into Blender to tell stories and those stories need characters. There are no free add-ons for creating characters in Blender directly, but what I found was the next best thing, and that is Make Human, a standalone application capable of making characters of any type or race. They are textured, fully rigged, and fully customizable. You can export them to exchange formats that are supported by Blender like FBX or OBJ. But if you want a complete solution, Inside Blender, Human Generator is what I would recommend. It does everything that Make Human does, and the quality of characters produced by Human Generator is better. It also comes with animations you can add to your characters and supports proxies to optimize your viewport performance and more. Those were some of the free alternatives to popular paid add-ons on the market. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.